Today, I'm gonna to show you some of the best ways to find profitable AI SEO niches. And by the end of this video, I promise you, you will have found at least 10,000 profitable niches that you can use to create AI SEO content around. And I'm not hyping that up or BSing you or anything like that. This is just a genuine truth. I'm gonna give you an SOP, it's right over here. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to use each method. You'll be able to give it to your team if you want them to do AI SEO niche research for you. Some of these techniques today have been completely mind blowing for myself. And a lot of them are completely free, which means they're not gonna cost you a single penny. And these are not your casual sort of niche research ideas like, oh, make a website about pets. That would be good. No, 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 no. These are websites that I've found that are getting literally thousands of traffic, ranking for hundreds of thousands of keywords, basically have never done any link building. I'm gonna show you exactly how to find websites like that and how you can use it for AI SEO niche research so that your problem is no longer, okay, what niche should you create content around? But actually it's gonna be, okay, how do I have enough time to create content around all these profitable AI SEO niches? And the only thing I ask is that today you do use these techniques ethically. You don't go around stealing people's websites because I absolutely do not advocate that. And with that, let's get straight into it. So let's look at some of the best ways to use AI to do niche research for you. So what you can do is there are sellers lists of all the websites making money with ads, right? And you can access these, for example, like Mediavine. Mediavine is an ad network. For example, chipperbirds.com is on Mediavine right here. And you can see how much we earned in September and August using this website. And the thing is as well, is that Mediavine only allows publishers who have 50,000 sessions per month. Now, what does that mean? That means these are established websites. They get a high amount of traffic, can be monetized with ads because they're already proven to be monetized with Mediavine and Mediavine check the website, they check the ads traffic, they check the site, they approve it, etc. And therefore, if you go into this document, you can basically see every website that's listed on Mediavine and you've got the website here. Let me zoom in. So for example, you've got the name, the domain, and the seller type. Now I'm saying use this absolutely ethically, don't just steal people's websites, etc. But you can use it for inspiration and find websites that are listed on Mediavine. So for example, you can see my website listed right here. And you can do the same for Monumetric, you can do the same for Cafe Media, but basically these are all niches and websites that you can check out and get inspiration for new niche ideas by reverse engineering what's already working for other people. It's a really powerful way to find niches quickly. And you can go to the sitemap for that website, for example, like this one, and see, okay, what type of content are they producing? What's their strategy? Because if they're getting to 50,000 sessions per month, then obviously this website is an authority. Obviously this website is making money and it's a proven niche and that can give you inspiration for your own website and automating AI. So basically what you can do is you can go to Mediavine or Monumetric or Cafe Media, etc., And you can reverse engineer what's working for your competitors through the sellers.json. And you know, right, it's hard to be monetized with these platforms. So it's a proven SEO model. They've been approved, which means that the niche you're picking can be monetized. They've already got a lot of search traffic. So it's a proven amount of search volume. And you can use this for inspiration ethically for creating new AI SEO websites. Don't just steal people's websites, etc. Do the research yourself. I would recommend the topical map. And then you can figure out how many backlinks you need as well. So for example, if you look at chipperbirds.com, it's a DR36 and it has 810 referring domains. So the question is, can I beat that? Can I get to this level of domain rating? Can I get that many referring domains? And how can I beat this website? Now, this is my own website, so that's why I'm using it as an example. But yeah, that's the process. And then you can create the content now, build the backlinks now, and wait for it to rank. And if you're wondering how do you create a new website and get it to rank, so I've got this whole SOP here. Some people already watched my channel will have seen it. In fact, you can see a lot of people checking it out right here. But basically, you can create topical maps using the video tutorial and the template right here. You can create the content using Autoblogging AI. That's what I use. You can use whatever you want. And then I've even given you a checklist of exactly how to do this and how to replicate content quickly. But that's basically the whole process. That's one of the easiest ways to do niche research, reverse engineer what's working, find new niches that are already proven and already have a proven amount of search volume and can be monetized. And then it's an easy but proven process.
There's actually a tutorial on YouTube on how to do this, but it's in a language I don't understand, I'll be honest. But he's got a file right here, which you can use, which basically has a list of every JSON. So obviously you've got Mediavine, Cafe Media, Monumetric at the top. These are some of the biggest ad networks right there. But then there's a bunch of others as well, which you can see. And I've included that list inside my SOP in case you want to get access to it. But that's a very easy way to automate your keyword niche research and find niches at scale. Now, what you can also do is you can actually scrape which sites are linking out to ClickBank, which is one of the biggest affiliate marketplaces in the world. And therefore, there's going to be a lot of SEO sites, and I'll show you how to filter them to see who's linking out to ClickBank and making money, which means that you can reverse engineer their success too. So if we go over to the backlink section like so, and we'll just filter this down to one link per domain, um, we're going to filter down from DR20 and below which means domain rating 20. Now domain rating 20 and below are basically sites that don't have many backlinks yet, that don't have much authority, and therefore we could outrank too, but are still getting traffic. Let me give you an example. So if we check out this site right here, you can see that it's a domain rating 0 0.9, but it's getting 18,300 traffic, okay? So it's really easy to identify which websites have a low domain rating, aka we can easily beat them because we don't need many backlinks to outrank them, but they're getting a lot of domain traffic and they're linking out to ClickBank. So they're not just getting traffic, but they're also making money. And we can easily figure out, okay, these websites are some of the best for monetizing. Let's reverse engineer this site. So if we copy this link address and we plug it into Ahrefs, essentially you can quickly identify low DR sites that are getting a decent amount of traffic and these guys know how to monetize because they're linking out to ClickBank products. Now what we can do is just see, okay, what sort of keywords are they ranking for? And can we do similar things? And that's a really easy way to find niches. Now, you've got to be careful here because some of these sites might just be getting Indian traffic, right? Or they might be getting traffic from one particular place in the world. So you have to use a bit of common sense there, but that's an easy way to reverse engineer which low DR sites are getting tons of traffic. And can we replicate the same thing with our niche research? Now I've changed some of the filters a little bit because it was coming up with some pretty saucy niches there that we don't want to talk about today in this video about SEO. But essentially, I've made the filters even harsher, right? So I've said, let's go for websites that have a domain rating of one or less, but get a high domain traffic and are linking out to ClickBank. And by doing this, you can easily change the filters. And some of these sites as well, I mean, look at this, domain rating zero, that is insane. And there's no way you would just stumble across a website like this. You have to have the right process in place, which is what I'm trying to show you today. Now, the other good thing about AI is that you can create content in whatever language you want. I mean, you don't have to speak the language essentially because you're using AI SEO to create the content for you. So for example, this German site, traffic and keywords are going up. I do not speak a word of German. This Spanish site, traffic and keywords are going up. There's no way I could write a full article in Spanish I might be able to say a few words I've learned from Bad Bunny songs or reggaeton, but there's no way I can write an actual blog. However, this site is going up in traffic. So it's quite easy to replicate these sites. And if we can build backlinks and potentially we could outrank them too. Now, if you look at this website and we reverse engineer what keywords are going for, you can just see it's insanely easy. Plus these are super high volume keywords, right? So for example, this domain rating zero website is ranking on the first page for all of these keywords. They're all super high volume and they're all KD zero. How easy would that be for you to replicate with AI? Extremely easy. You've seen me do it. How do I know that? Because I can create three websites with hundreds of pieces of content each in 23 minutes, as you can see in this video tutorial right here. So what you can actually do is, and I don't talk about this often, but you can actually go to flipper.com and I want to show you some new processes in this video. So what you can actually do from here is if you go to Flipper, this is a website where they sell other websites, right? So it's kind of like a bidding auction place for websites. Now, if you browse by websites and then you go to content and then you find blogs, you can basically find websites for sale that are already making content just like you are with AI and SEO. And you can see how much money they're making. So you can see the net profit per month. So for example, like this website, saltmoney.org, it's making $3,379 per month. Or this one, for example, Hectic Geek, you can see it's making $283 per month, which to some people is not going to be a lot, to other people it's going to be more. Uh, you, but you can actually see that if it's making a net profit of $283, the asking price for that website is $8,000. What does that mean? 
Well, if you divide the asking price by the net profit, you can see that 28 times 283 equals roughly $8,000. So this is selling at a 28X multiple, which means you don't have to make a lot of money from your website with AI and SEO to actually sell it for a high price. And when I say 28X multiple, I mean of its monthly profit, not its yearly profit. Obviously over the 12 months, it's a 2.9X multiple. I mean, to get to $283 per month isn't gonna take a massively long time. So what you can do from here is we can take the website address um, we can go to a tool like SE Ranking and basically reverse engineer that website. What do I mean by this? Well, you can basically figure out how much it's going to cost to create a website just like this one. So if we go to SE Ranking, and the reason I'm using SE Ranking is they have a free trial. So, you know, anyone who's watching this who doesn't have access to expensive tools like SEMrush or Ahrefs, etc., they can use a tool like SE Ranking, but they basically all work the same. So if we take this website, We'll plug it into SE Ranking and we'll analyze it. Um, from here, if we scroll down to top pages in organic search, we can see how many pages it's created that are actually getting traffic. All right. All right. So it's got 281 URLs and we can plug that into our spreadsheet like so. Now, if we go back to that page and we figure out, okay, how many backlinks has it got that are actually decent? So we can click on backlinks over here, click get full report. We'll go to referring domains over here. And from here, you can also figure out, okay, how much is it going to cost me? to get that many referring domains. And from here, you can basically, not just what is the website about and the niche, but you can also figure out, okay, how much is it gonna to cost to replicate that website? So for example, if it's 50 cents per article and you're creating 281 of them, plus you need to build 2,400 backlinks at a cost of $20, then that's the total cost you're gonna spend. Or you might say, okay, well, probably only 25% of those backlinks are gonna be good. So therefore, it's gonna cost us $10,000 to replicate that website. But essentially, you can basically reverse engineer websites from Flipper, figure out what content they're ranking for, and figure out how much it costs to replicate their website using this whole workflow right here. And it's very easy to automate with SE ranking. Or what you can also do is you can go onto ChatGPT and just ask for a list of sub niche ideas. And this will give you loads of sub niches that you can then look deeper into to find inspiration for ideas of websites. This basically automates a sub niche for you. Now I would recommend steering away from YMYL stuff because that's going to be very difficult to rank for. So your money or your life topics like health, for example, or finance, whatever, they're not going to be good for trying to rank. But something like pets, organic dog treats, that could be a good one. Now what you're ideally looking for if you're doing niche research is number one to find something that's quite easy to rank for. Number two, you want to find a lot of different keywords with a high total volume. So if you look at this sub niche, for example, it looks good on the outside, but actually if you scroll down, there's not a lot of search data for most of the keywords. So for example, it says NA, NA, and that's just after like the top 10 or 15. So I wouldn't go into that niche simply because it's too difficult to rank for. But then what you would do is just scroll through each of these sub niches and you'll find some winners and some losers in there. You can easily automate this process between web browsing and keyword research data. And then you would get the inspiration from ChatGPT and you get the data to verify whether it's a good niche from Ahrefs. Now, personally for me, what I'm going to be looking for when it comes to niche research is these, right? So I want to find lots of low keyword difficulty keywords. I want it to be monetizable, aka I can use ads or et cetera. So for example, if someone's targeting family related content or education related content, well, if you're targeting people who are quite young, you're not going to be able to monetize your ads and that's going to be a big problem for you. So, so avoid YMYL, avoid stuff you can't monetize with ads. And the best way to verify that is to basically find other websites that are making money through ads in the same niche. And then there's two things you want to find here. So you want to find high search volume for the keywords beyond the top 20 and top 50. So if you look down here on Ahrefs and you scroll through the keywords, you can see that once you get beyond the top 20, most of these keywords don't have any volume. So they're not gonna be very good to rank for. And then finally, you wanna make sure it's easy to replicate with AI. Now, again, this comes down to YMYL. If you publish the wrong information in the wrong niche, that could land you in serious trouble. You don't wanna do that. Instead, you wanna steer away from health topics, steer away from anything that could mislead people, and steer into something where 
it's not very facts or data driven in terms of your content. Let me give you some examples. So a lot of people on my channel have seen the birds case study that we did this year, where we basically five to 10 X of traffic on this website. And you can see that if we scroll down, there's tons of high search volume keywords at a low difficulty. And even on the first page, you've still got keywords with 7,100 search volume, for example, like this one or this one, et cetera, right? If we go back to that previous example, you can see most of the keywords here. You can see once we scroll down, there's not enough search volume that you need. And keywords on the first page of Ahrefs still only have 10 search volume. Now, again, you can do this on any tool you want, SEMrush, FC ranking, et cetera. Ahrefs is good for the sake of this process simply because I can show it to you and demonstrate what makes a good niche and what does. Now, another way to find niches really easily, and I've just been digging into this really deep because I've got another 89 AI SEO websites to set up, but basically you can look for footprints of websites that are making money with Amazon affiliate by searching for the Amazon affiliate disclosure on the website. And if you change your search results to 100 or more, like I've done right here, you can see an endless number of websites that all have the Amazon affiliate disclosure. And then you can go one step further and you can say, right, how do sites in the astrology niche make money with Amazon affiliate? And you've got a bunch of sites here with the Amazon affiliate disclosure, and you can see what sort of products they're selling. For example, like a Zodiac journal review or gift ideas or gold rings related to astrology. And it gives you all these ideas of ways you can monetize your site in the same niche. The final method is you can actually go onto Amazon bestsellers like so, and you can see a bunch of products here. You can click through the categories, etc., and find potential niche ideas based on the products that are being sold. So for example, like pet hair removers or something totally random like that. But basically you get a bunch of ideas for niche research that you would never have got before. And between all of the processes in this SOP, for example, reverse engineering JSON, sellers documents like so, and, and there's a full list of them all here, or reverse engineering who's linking out to ClickBank products and has a low DR site, but it's getting a lot of traffic. Like I've shown you before, you can also look at the Amazon bestsellers and you can also look for the footprint Amazon affiliate disclosure. And then the problem is no longer, okay, how do I find the best niche for my AI SEO website? The problem is how much time do you have to set up all these websites? So I hope this video helped you. I'm gonna link out directly to the SOP inside the description of this YouTube video. But basically that's how it works step by step. And if you do wanna book in a free call about how to get more leads, traffic and sales to your website, and get a free domination plan, plus answer any of your questions and give you a link building strategy for your website, then feel free to book that in. Link is in the comments and thanks so much for watching.